What's up guys, Joe Holland here. I am getting ready and geared up for the 2021 ice fishing season. We're still waiting for ice, but it gives me a really good opportunity to get around to some of the local bait shops here in Maine. And some of them might not even be local, but I'm gonna get around to the bait shops, see what's new, see what I can do to support these guys and also get all the ice fishing stuff I need for the year. Today, I am here in Southern Maine in Wyndham at the famous Sebago Bait and Tackle. Now this bait shop's unique. I shot a video on it a couple of years ago. It is a seasonal business. They don't do open water. They don't do the spring season or anything like that. They do ice fishing. And the reason they do that is because Wayne is the owner and he loves ice fishing. They run a really cool construction consultant business. They sell Elgin, bleach fields, septic systems, stuff like that. In the winter, they love to ice fish and they love to have ice fishing supplies. So that's why this place is stocked to the gills with all of the really cool stuff and the good stuff you need for ice fishing season. Let's go in, take a look. Sebago Bait, we are here. <laughs> um, we've been here since 2011. We're going on the 10th year here. Wayne opened this store just as kind of a fun thing to do. We regularly sell leach field equipment that goes in your septic system. Somebody else can answer that. <laughs> <laughs> in the off season when people aren't digging their leach fields ground is frozen well what else is there to do except go ice fishing he started this as just a fun thing to do and 10 years later it's kind of become its own entity i work as the office manager on that side and december comes around and i'm back and forth and most people know i'm here you know Monday through Thursday is 8 a.m. to 4.30. Starting January 1st, we'd be open Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, yeah, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 5 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Sunday, 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. We also have a Facebook page that's it's Sebago Bait. People can go there and get information. There's a Facebook, just like you would have a Facebook page as a person that's called Sebago Bait where you can friend us. Wayne usually monitors that. He's very active in messaging people. And we do post a lot of pictures and videos and stuff about whatever deals we're running. So if you ever have a question, the phone system operates for the leach field product place too. So it's a, it's a lot of time people will hang up because they're like, it says construction consultants. Well, it's construction consultants in Sebago Bay. So if I don't answer, leave me a message or go right on and send us a message on Facebook. So what kind of services do you guys have? You have the live bait, you have the artificial bait, you have the auger sharpening, and then a full service, it looks like everything. Oh my right? gosh. If you need something, we probably have it. And if you ask me for something that I don't have, there's the potential that we can order it. There's also the potential that you just don't need it if I don't have it. So <laughs> that's how that works. Yeah, so free auger sharpening. Um, we just ask that people drop their blades off. I'm gonna put it in a little baggie with your name and your phone number, and hopefully within a week we get to it. The bait, we have live bait right now. All I have are shiners. We're just kind of starting things up. Sure. So, But normally we would have smell suckers. We'd have different size shiners as we get further into the season and people want to go pike fishing. Well, you know, we can get really big shiners. It can be hit or miss. The last two years, there's been kind of a smelt shortage as we get further into the season. Uh, we have a bunch of big tanks out back that we store bait in. We've got the refrigerated tanks that we can take a look at out here. These are refrigerated? They are refrigerated, oh, nice. but like I said, right now all I have are shiners. Um, but there's quite a mix of shiners in there as far as size, so. <laughs> so. You're looking for some big ones. I have some big ones. Everything in here runs through a couple of filters. There's a chloramine filter, there's a sediment filter, and then there's some different filters that have different size gravel in them to filter out all of the byproduct. We put bacteria in here every day. Fish make waste. <laughs> they, they give off ammonia, so the bacteria eat the ammonia. We never have to change the water in these tanks. And then right now, it is dialed in at 42 degrees. Oh, wow. Nice. That bait's going to be nice and lively when you get on the ice. Right. And the last thing you want is bait that's in 60 degree water and you take it out to 40 degree water right. and it just well. <laughs> you know, something I would like to mention, these traps that we have right here, um, these are made by John Hutchins. They were originally made by his son, Craig. His son, Craig, passed away and now his father continues making them. 
all of the funds from that goes to the Center for Grieving Children or Suicide Prevention. So John does not keep a penny. He makes these. People think they're cute. We sell them as Christmas ornaments and the money gets donated. We do a donation for the Sebago Derby every year. We do different donations. Uh, there's a kids derby that's going to be happening that we were approached and we're gonna be donating some product for the prizes for the kids. Um, so we, we do a lot of other things throughout the community. We ourselves put on a derby many years ago oh, nice. where we tagged a couple of trout. I think there were five. They, they were about this big. And as far as I'm aware, they are still swimming in, big, <laughs> in little Sebago because <laughs> I don't think anybody <laughs> caught them. Every once in a while, you know, Wayne will come up with some harebrained scheme and <laughs> we, we follow through. And if you have a derby that's going to be going on and anything like that, don't be scared to approach us. Because sure. if it's, you know, even if it's a couple of gift certificates that we can donate, we'd love to do that. Yeah. Well, that's great of you guys to do that. And when there's good Uh-oh. ice, that Sebago Derby is huge. It is. That's it one of is. the biggest, one of the top derbies in the state of Maine yeah, in the winter. Yeah, and you know, a couple of years we've we've had people, oh, I caught my fish on your bait. And you know, so we've definitely had a couple of winners from that derby that were caught on Sebago bait. They always make sure to come back and tell us that, that awesome. they caught it on Sebago bait bait. New stuff for the year. This year, we could not stop Wayne from buying things. <laughs> so um, you might have seen Andrew in here helping me the last two years. He's not here today, but he's definitely a big help in the bait shop. But Andrew and I decided that we needed to do a little expansion. So this year we have one, two, three, four new shelves. We've moved stuff all around. So when you come in, it's not going to look the same as it did, but we can definitely help you find stuff. Line, leaders, reels, swivels, sinkers, hooks. So you got your hook, line, and sinkers. <laughs> <laughs> we try to keep everything remotely together that's going to be going together. Traps. I have heritage traps. I have HT traps. I have some jack traps. A lot of people wanted jack traps, so we went and got some. This is something new that he brought in this year. It's an ice rod case. Uh, it's really nice. Hard cover, not soft cover. You don't have to worry about accidentally stepping on it and breaking something because you're not going to damage anything in there. All your stuff for your otter sleds and your jet sleds. I got covers. I got the high fax kit. I got the tow hitches, heavy duty and regular. This year we brought in some really big sleds. I've got bigger than the otter magnum and bigger than the jet sled XL. And we'll see those here in a few minutes. Pack basket liners, pack baskets. We'll see more of those out back in a few minutes. These, these have been selling pretty good this year, I heard. Yes, the Lorings. yes. The Loring pack baskets. I have 24 inch and 28 inch. Um, and then I have the liners for them. Some without pockets, some with pockets. I'd recommend with pockets because <laughs> then your traps aren't flailing all over the place. We moved the ice auger parts to this wall. We've got Eskimo blades, ion blades, K-drill blades, strike master blades, jiffy blades, the little adapters where you can take your hand auger, whether it's a Nils or a regular hand auger, and turn it into a drilled auger. Everybody likes those, you know, those drill bit augers now. It's much more convenient than gas. <laughs> Um, some different jiffy parts, spark plugs, tune-up kits, the collar, gas caps, an oil, yeah. You guys got it all. We do. We tried to think of everything. Extra covers to protect the blades? Yeah, yeah. Some extensions if you needed an extension. Hopefully we'll need them this year. We need some more ice. Well, yeah, we need a lot more ice. But mm -hmm. you know, we, we've, def we've run out of extensions in years past, so it's That's not good. unheard of that people need extensions. Mm -hmm. The further north you go, it seems to be <laughs> seems to be a common thing. We brought in a bunch of Rapalas this year. We never had this many Rapala jigs. So there's quite a few Rapalas this year. Still got the Castmaster. We've had those going for a couple of years now. Brought in some new Lindy jigs. The custom jigs. The VMC. Wayne brought in a whole bunch of VMC. Nice. And then we kind of made a little crappie fishing corner for people that like to fish for crappie. Um, so you got a couple of little plastics, some of the little jigs. Um, Andrew did this 
whole corner <laughs> for this whole area. Um, specifically, so people are like, oh, I'm going crappie fishing. We can be like, come right over here. Nice. <laughs> We've got some sabiki rigs. People were asking for those. I'm sure, we're going to try and keep more in stock. And then you've got the Swedish pimple wall. Wow. The famous Swedish pimple wall. <laughs> wow. You got it. You got the wall of them here. Yes. And all sizes, all shapes, and all colors. Yes. It's That's impressive. It's amazing how many we have. This side, we've got some Northland stuff. The airplane jigs. The, the blue one is the most popular. A couple of years ago, you could not keep that in stock. Dark. So in this area, in that area for, for the Sebago last few Lake, years for Sebago Lake, that is the fishing lure. When I used to live down here, well, I went to St. Joe's. Yeah. That was like, geez, 20 years ago. That was still the hot lure then. That's funny. <laughs> it's been 30 years, 20 years of that being the hot lure. But you know, people from up north, they're, oh, I'm just in the area. Mm -hmm. They'll come in here and they yeah, will buy okay. copper. Everything like copper, because up north, copper right. is the thing. Yeah. yeah. It's the airplane jig here. And then the alewives have really taken over in the in the yes, lake. Yes, and it's, it's a resemblance of that color. It's a really close, close match it to that. It is, yeah. Nice, one ounce. That's awesome. Yeah. Daddy Mac, we brought those in last year. So that's new from even last year. So those, we've got quite a few of those. He brought in a bunch of clam uh, lures this year. So this is kind of the, the trap line area. This is different line um, than you saw over on the other side. Mm -hmm. And if you want to have more than 100 yards, they're all connected together. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we cut them if you only want the 100. Um, but if you wanted more than 100 yards. Now, if you're lining five traps with 200 yards or 10 traps with 100 yards, 1,000 yards a line right there. Perfect. Yes, that's great. <laughs> I got pink. I got some dark green, black, tan, bright yellow. Um, orange seems to come in just as fast as it goes out. <laughs> Can't seem to keep orange in stock. A couple of other things this year that are new. We've got the de-icer for your ice stopper bobbers cool. huh. people want I this in like yet. yeah they want this in gallon jugs i just don't have it in gallon jugs this is how they sell it cool i haven't even seen that yeah that's a new yeah, product even yeah. to me. <laughs> keeps your your ice hole from oh nice from icing back up so this is kind of what was going on when we were having our Black Friday sale. Like people can just be like, oh, I need these while they're waiting for the cash register. These are pretty neat. These were new this year. Can you see it light up? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something for the kiddos. We've Definitely. We've never had those before. Sure. And the adults too. Yeah, still if you like a light up reel, that's perfect for you. Um, these are new this year, and I have a pair myself. Andrew bought a pair for himself. Some of his friends came in and bought some. They are hand warmers, but you charge them. I've used mine probably three times when we had those power outages after the last storm, just yesterday when I was out shoveling. <laughs> so <laughs> they're really nice. You pop them right in your gloves and keep your fingertips warm. So I think the mat itself has different um, different things on it that tell you how to cut it. Oh, cool. Yeah. And you guys have everything here. <laughs> this is the we best ice like fishing store around. Stuff. Ice shacks. Anchors for your ice shack. The Eskimo clam, just kind of a generic. We've got the otter ones. A lot of people like the HT. It's just kind of a, a generic adapter to be able to put the anchors in. These are a hot seller. They're $15.99. We sell a lot of those. Stabilizers as we've, we've had for ages so stabilizers corkers are something new this year that we brought in i think everybody has their own preference on what kind of ice cleat they like if you just want the buckle cleats or these kind the corkers the stabilizers everybody's shoes are different so different choices <laughs> back here we've got your reel wrap put this on your reel kind of it has a place to keep your hook got a couple of different colors different styles stuff to make your traps so if you wanted to make your own I've got different heritage parts I have some jack trap parts 
And then I have some just generic H2 parts. Aerators. Um, we have a couple of different kinds. The bubble box is probably the best seller. That's $13.99. I've got tubing. I've got air stones with tubing. I've got some different two-way valves, three-way valves, whatever you need. People were asking a few years ago for spring bobbers. So now we have all kinds of spring bobbers. People were asking for the, the bite indicator lights. So we brought in a bunch of those. So, and then this is the ice buster bobber so that it keeps your line from freezing. The Frable bait boxes, they come with an aerator and these are pretty neat. They have a little net. So when you come in, I'm going to fill up your bait bucket. Your bait will go right in here. And then whenever you need to change stuff out or do whatever, you just pull the net out, fish you in here, change out your water, put it back. Yeah, a couple of different trap bags. The blue is different this year from the ones we've had. We've always had the black. Jawjacker, that's the jigging base. They've been pretty pretty uh, good sellers, or oh. have people been getting into them? Or? When they first came out, a lot of people wanted them, and mm -hmm. I don't see it so much now. Um, we got something new this year. That oh, yeah. As soon as we advertised that we had these, bam. <laughs> So this is the HT version, works basically the same way. So this is the little area for augers. So this is the original K-drill auger that came out a few years ago. So these are gonna be your drill augers. And would you get a brushless drill and then you just use this with the drill. This is the new one that came out this year. It's the eight and a half inch. Right now, this one is 229 if you come in before the end of the month. This is the Eskimo pistol fairly lightweight i wouldn't be doing this with a gas auger <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the light flight strike master so before the new k drill this was the newest same thing very light so. and you got some spud bars that's cool yes some those are nice for safety yeah. or for um or when when there's not that much ice right we do take in used augers um, wayne takes a look at them make sure that they're in nice condition and um, you know, if you want to do any kind of trading, if you're just looking to sell, Wayne would be the one to talk to about that. This is the 40 volt that a lot of people, I, we must have sold a dozen of these so far. Um, right now, even though it says 550, my price is 499.99 nice. for the Black Friday sale that he wants to continue through the end of the month. That's a great deal. 10 inch, comes with one battery. This is the one I have. It's a, it's unbelievable. Is it? Yeah. It's unbelievable how good it is. I've never seen it in action. Oh, I'll, I'll send you some videos. As soon as we posted them, people were like, save me one. Save yeah, me one. it's... And, you know, if you can't make it in here, let's say you're from Bangor area. Yeah, I want one. How do I get one? Call me. Pay on a credit card. I'll put your name, put the receipt. When you have a chance to get down here, it's paid for nice. and it's put aside. Great customer service. Yes. Yeah, we don't want anyone to be like, oh, I just couldn't make it. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of you. Just, right. <laughs> just call ahead of time. One thing I noticed is you guys have a lot more jig rods than you had last time. Yes, we've spent a lot of time drilling all those holes. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of jig rods around the store. It's, it's cool to see more people are getting into jigging and electronics and, yes. and, um, and yeah. being more active when they're yeah. ice fishing. Probably one of the most expensive rods that we've brought in are the Fenwicks. Mm -hmm. I do have some that are packaged in plastic and they're $59, $49 that are a different brand. Some have reels on them, some don't. You know, we have ultra light, we have medium, we have medium heavy, we have heavy. So we, we try to get a, a mix of different ones depending on what people want to fish for. You know, around here, big Sebago, you want to go catch a toe, you're going to want a fairly heavy rod. Wayne likes to fish on little Sebago, catch a lot of white perch there. You don't need such a heavy rod. Different little things that people that aren't local don't realize about the lakes around here. So that's one of the great things about coming into a local bait and tackle shop is you learn 
really cool, unique things about the local lakes and the local fishermen and the local fish populations. Right. And the thing about this shop is, other than myself, I've only been ice fishing a couple of times. Wayne and Andrew ice fish. They ice fish all the time. Andrew's out ice fishing today. <laughs> You're coming in here to talk to people that are actually out doing ice fishing and know, oh, if you want to catch this kind of fish, you should go here. If you want to catch this other kind of fish, you should go there. You know, there's different different things that we can advise people about that's not just about products in the shop. We brought in a lot more mitts and gloves this year. We had some of the new Eskimo, and I'll show you the pattern on the new Eskimo. It's a plaid pattern, red and black plaid for their 60th anniversary. Um, I think we have one hat left right there, but the mitts we sold out of, some of the Kinko gloves we've sold out of. But we still have all of the fur-lined hats. I love those. I have one myself. The neoprene gloves and just some other different kinds of gloves. So if you don't want to go for the $30 Kinkos, we got a little less expensive or a little less money for just a regular glove. Work gloves, um, the mouth spreaders, the hookouts, the forceps, scissors, different things that some fishermen like to be able to use to get their hooks out. These are pretty neat. These were new last year, so different bottle caps made into fishing lures. Cool. And then just kind of some generic stuff that you might need. You're standing in line and think, oh, how am I going to strap that sled down? Well, here you go. This is how you're going to strap it down. This is how you're going to strap it down. Um, so we got some straps. We got bungee cord, cargo net. Over here, we got some of the same stuff. And then just some stuff that, you know, maybe on the off chance you might need. Um, these were new last year. It's a different kind of hook remover. More of the um, strike indicators, the tip-up line markers. People like those. Well, so we just kind of put a little bit of everything over here to say, oh, hey, look at what else we have. Buckets, you got all sorts of buckets too. Oh, yeah. Nice. So if people come in needing a needing bait with a bucket and right. they don't have yeah, their big I mean, bucket, they can still stop them. There's buckets everywhere here. So these are the Home Depot. These white ones are pretty neat. Oh wow, um, those are really neat. So other than the rope handle, they have a little handle here. Oh, cool. So easy to dump. Sleds. I got a bunch of jet sleds out here. The Jet Sled Junior, the Jet Sled One, the Jet Sled XL. We got the black in color, the camo. That blaze orange is new this year. I've had a couple of people come in and tell me that they have actually bought it to go hunting next year. Clam chairs, Eskimo <coughs> chairs. This is the new pattern that I was talking about for Eskimo this year. They changed the logo to more of a cursive script logo and the chairs are plaid, which I think are really cool. That is neat. <laughs> so, got a couple of cup holders. And then that one's just a little bit smaller. Nice. Yeah, different sizes. Um, these are the heritage traps. So yeah, one thing I noticed is you guys got a lot more ice fishing traps this year than than the last time I was down. Yes. So you have the, the lineup of heritage, yep. lineup of jacks, some HTs, some polar tip ups, some yes. deluxe. Yeah, we try to get a little bit of everything. We have a lot of different price points um, so that people have. You know, I had somebody call the other day and ask what the cheapest trap was. Uh, it's about eight ninety nine. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. So this is kind of the back stock area. People that have been here before know we have several big bait tanks out back. I'm not going to show those today, but they're like horse, 300 gallon horse trough tanks. And that's where we keep all of our back stock of suckers and shiners. But this is what we've got offering for the rest of the stuff. I've got different jet sleds here and then I have some otter sleds. So this is the, the large jet sled that's available this year. And then this one, I believe is the largest otter sled that we carry, the otter nice. so large. <laughs> It's taller than you. Yeah, oh yeah. It's taller than me. <laughs> One of those is definitely going home with me. Yeah. <laughs> Different shacks this year. Um, last year we had the Otter H, uh, XTH, which we still have some. Those are the prices on those. This year we have the Otter Vortex, which is, I believe the Vortex is an insulated. Four different kinds of those. The Lodge, the Resort, the Cabin, and the Monster Lodge. And then we have the Eskimos. 
Um, we've always had the Eskimo 3 and the Eskimo 5 is a 3 man, a 5 man. So this year the new one is this one. Again with that plaid. This is their 60th anniversary edition of their ice shack. Great. Oh, plenty of pack baskets too. Oh yes, plenty of pack baskets. Again, 28 inch, 24 inch. The auger drill plate that was real popular um, a couple of years ago, we couldn't even keep them in stock. So when you get a K drill, for instance, if you don't want to hold it on your drill, like you're drilling, you can set this up and then it holds more like a traditional auger. Um, normally $76.99, right now 60 bucks. The light flight that I was showing you out front is another drill auger, $169.99. These are the new lithium 40 volt. We're looking at $499.99 on that. We do have some ions in stock. The G2 10 inch and the G2 8 inch. $679.99 and $649.99. Uh, the Eskimo pistol, again, one that I showed you out front. I recall that I was doing flips and tricks with it. <laughs> $169.99. Jiffy 30, this is our everyday price, $299.99. If you want a simple, traditional gas auger that has basically stood the test of time, I had somebody in here today that told me that he had his Jiffy 30 since the, the baby Jesus had been born. <laughs> so it, it's a, a time-tested, sturdy gas auger. Jiffy 30 is the kind of the, the auger to go to if you're looking for a gas auger. I think I have three Eskimo propane augers left, possibly four if I count the one out front. So I think four. Um, $359.99 on those. This is the old K drill. Right now we're running the $189.99 price. So that's the first version of the K drill. This is the newest version of the K drill. It's eight and a half inches instead of the seven and a half. It said eight, but it was more like a seven and a half, seven and three quarter hole. So this is eight and a half, $229.99. Uh, another version of the Strike Master, this is a 24 volt eight inch, and that's $379.99. And then we do have Eskimo gas augers. I have the F1, and that one's $389.99. These are great prices. Well, he just figured why not just keep the Black Friday pricing through the yeah. end of the year and you know if people are looking for something else. We also do gift certificates so if you've got somebody that likes ice fishing but you're just not sure what to get them we do gift certificates. If we see one in stock does that mean that you're down to one or do you have back stock or can you get? Uh, uh, behind here oh, see wow. all those shacks right there. Oh wow look at and all that. That's all shacks right there. Nice so if you only see one in the shop. It doesn't necessarily mean okay. that I only have one. If you're coming into Sebago Bait and you've never been in here before we have a huge yard so coming in with a snowmobile trailer uh, is not an issue here. Um, we've got plenty of space. You can just swing right around and most of the time that's what people do. The Frabel has their cooler and then Angle has their cooler. So these again, it's a similar setup. It has the aerator, it has the net, um, just a, a different brand. So this one that you're looking at here is a 19 quart. And I believe these ones right around the corner are a little bit bigger. Oh, well, and propane. Like right now, we, I, you know, have propane. Um, when the power went out, I went to Walmart to find some, and they had none. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to work. I know I have propane, <laughs> so I can cook some breakfast. We, we try to make things as convenient as possible for people. You know, we we do operate the it's the company called Construction Consultants is the main company so you know if you see us out here running around sometimes the door might be locked and it'll say out loading septic equipment back in 10 minutes just hang out and wait for us because you know we're out and around if we're here between 8 and 4 30 monday through thursday or you know the the 8 to 6 on friday we're here somewhere we just can't be in here with you and we like to give everybody that personal attention instead of being like oh yeah here you go i'm gonna go out and do this yeah. <laughs> So pretty much whether you're going for a day ice fishing or a week long trip or stocking up for the season, you guys have it all, right? Yes, yes. And we've been known to have people come in 
and ask for 10 dozen smelts. Um, we bag them, we put oxygen in them, and they go on their merry way and they're good for days. All right, guys, that is a wrap on Sebago Bait and Tackle. Check them out when you're down here. Give them a call if there's something you need. I'm sure they can get it. You know, uh, one thing we don't talk about enough is supporting local, supporting your small guys because you know, these are the guys that are donating stuff to the Sebago Derby. They're the guys that are donating stuff to the youth derbies. These are your Rotary Club members. These are your local businessmen that pump a bunch of stuff back into the economy. I know you can get stuff cheaper on Amazon. I know you can order stuff from China a little bit cheaper than you can get it here, but Amazon isn't supporting the local derbies. Amazon's not supporting the kids. Amazon's not supporting the community, and Amazon doesn't have the stuff you need when you need it that day. So. Can please consider that type of stuff. Support your small local businesses. Stay tuned for more bait shops on across the state of Maine. As I fish and travel around the state, I'm gonna stop in at the local shops and if the owners wanna shoot a video, we'll shoot a video. And if there's any shops that you guys wanna see or wanna hear more about, let me know, put it in the comments. Let me know what you think about this shop and also let me know what other shops you want me to check out and review. Thanks for tuning in.